Jiu-Jitsu 2000 here today. I'm back and as you can see I have another offering from Bry Knight. This happens to be the PT28 Oath Keeper. Now if you hadn't seen my review of the larger flashlight, the PT18 Oath Keeper, that one was 2000 lumens. This is a smaller version of that light. This one runs on an 18650 battery, or you can run dual CR123s on this flashlight. Now, the PT18 that I reviewed earlier was an awesome, awesome flashlight. So, first thing I see here are some masks for COVID-19. That is super cool that they included those with this package. Very cool. And next thing I see is a smaller box. This one thing that I want to say about Bry Knight right off the bat is that they package things very, very well. So there's my name on the front. Let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. I'm very excited about this flashlight. Let's take a look and see what's included in the packaging. And I see a very similar thing that I saw with the PT-18 which is this little bag here very cool so we're gonna take a look and see what's inside of this bag let's get this there's a card in there so let's open it up and see that card I thought that was really cool nice touch next thing that you see in the bag are some fingernail clippers with the Bry Knight logo on them so very cool and they did include some of these with the uh, PT-18. Now, I don't know if this is something that comes standard with the kit or if this is just something they put in there for me. I really don't know. But there's a little file kind of area right there. So that's pretty cool. Nice little touch. Also a bottle opener. So let's take a further look and see what's inside. Looks like we have a holster here. And that's a nice looking holster. It's got a nice little piggyback option on the side and that's about the size of an 18650 battery or a small flashlight so you could probably put a spare battery there and this is a ratcheting type part here just like the last one it functions pretty well Brian Knight logo on the front you can see the bottom has a hole an opening and also the top has an opening so I think that's cool because you can turn the light on while it's in the holster and the light will shine through this is a Velcro type enclosure and that's a lot of good Velcro there. Very very high quality. So nice holster. Good job. It's kind of kind of a rigid holster. I, I really like that. So let's take a look here, see what else we have. We have a lanyard with paracord, just like we did on the P18 Oathkeeper. Nice little carabiner there. Camouflage lanyard, so I think that's cool. And what do we have here? So here is the USB 2. To magnetic charger so this is pretty cool because you can charge this flashlight in your wall outlet you could charge it on your laptop computer your battery bank your solar panel your vehicle all kinds of options for charging let's take another look at that right quick and get this thing to focus here that's what the magnetic charger looks like so it's very cool set that aside we have the light itself which we will talk about in a minute there's also a the owner's manual with a little this is a nice little touch got a little carabiner with like a kind of a lanyard looking thing on it pretty neat so this instruction manual I like that it's like cards that's pretty cool I really enjoy that this part right here is the run times of the light and all the specs the dimensions the weight Here's the diagram of the light. This talks about the battery indicator, which I'll talk about in the video. And also a warranty card. I like the way they did this. This is really cool. Very neat. 
there is a couple additional, well that's actually three O-rings there, replacement O-rings, which is a good gesture. And there's one more thing in there that I'm trying to get my hands on, and that's another card here. This is a gift type card. Let's take a look at the light itself. There's a closer look of the of the light itself. I love the desert tan look. That is really cool. There's the tail cap button slash switch. And the reason I say button slash switch is because this could be used for momentary on or constant on. And then again, there is that finger groove thing. So you have that nice tactical kind of grip option for this light. There is the magnetic charging port to charge the light. And of course, the belt clip. It's a very solid belt clip. Let's take a look at the lens of the light as well as the reflector. So you can see that the lens is glass. It has a smooth reflector. Very nice looking build on this light. Very cool. So let's go ahead and twist this tail cap switch off. I'd like to take a look at the battery. And before I get there, let's, let's take one more look here at this part. So just like on the P18 Oath Keeper, you see those little notches there? Those notches correspond to these little arrows. That's where they recommend placement. So you line those notches up with those arrows, just like so. Let me find it here. Let's get there. And then it falls right into place. There's an O-ring there that kind of protects this. And then there's a look at the inside of the tail cap switch. Looks like a nice build. But the thing that I'm trying to say here is you can take this ring off if you want to. Or you can leave it on. Now right here we have an insulation film protecting the battery. We are looking at a 18650 battery that operates at 3100 milliamp hour. 3.6 volts. I love 18650 flashlights. I think this is a really good battery. There's a look at the positive terminal and the negative terminal. So there's a look down inside the battery tube of the light. You can see the spring down in there and you can see the battery tube. And this battery tube on this light is thick. But this is just a beautiful light. So let's go ahead and put the battery in battery is going to go positive down towards the head of the flashlight. There is the O-ring there. So you can see very clearly right there is the O-ring. That O-ring gives us the IPX8 waterproofness. So we're just going to thread this bad boy on just like so. Now let's take a minute and let's talk about the magnetic charger on this light. You can see that the magnet is very effective. It goes to the exact part that it needs to go to. It doesn't have any problems. If you're off a little bit, it finds the spot that it needs to go to. Now during the magnetic charging operation, if you turn the light and you look to the front of the light here, you will see a charging indicator. You'll get a series of three different colors that are available. You'll get red, which we see here, which is telling us that the flashlight is charging. The second color that you'll commonly see is green, which will be telling us that the charging process is complete. Now in the event that you see a orange color, that is telling us that the light is going through abnormal charging and something needs to be looked at. So in most cases you'll see red or green. But this charger is very effective it, and it works really well. Very cool function. Operating this light is extremely simple. We have a tail cap switch and we have a side switch. The tail cap switch can be used in a couple different ways. It can be used as a momentary or it can be used as a constant on. So for momentary, we'll half press that switch like that. And as you can see, the light will come on. And then when we let up our thumb, the light goes off. Now for constant on, we'll just click that and the light will turn on click it again, the light will turn off. So that's how we turn on and off the, the light. Now once the light is turned on, we'll go to a constant on here. 
Then we move up to the side switch here, and that's where we go through the different modes. So right now we're on what appears to be turbo. If I push this, we'll go to low. Low is 10 lumens for 98 hours. And then, of course, if I push it again, we'll go to medium of 60 lumens for 60 hours. So just remember 60, 60. 60 lumens, 60 hours. That's going to be a good setting. Push it again, we go to high of 360 lumens. That'll last three and a half hours. And then again, we push that button. We go up to turbo, 1600 lumens for one minute. Then it drops down to prevent overheating for an additional 1.8 hours. Okay. Now if I leave the light on a low setting and then I turn the light off and turn it back on, you'll notice that it came back to that low setting. This light has a memory where it will remember low, medium, high, or turbo. So let's go to medium for example. Turn the light off, turn it back on right to medium, go to high, off, back on right to high and then even including turbo off right back to turbo now this light does have two additional functions that can be reached so from any mode up here if I double press this side switch I'll get to a strobe function so watch out strobe warning here double press I get to a strobe if I double press again I will get to a SOS mode. Now let's go back to the uh, strobe here for a second. Strobe is 1600 lumens. If I double press again and I get to that SOS, the SOS is 60 lumens. If I single press, the light will go back to the last mode access prior to strobe or SOS. Now if I go to low and I turn the light off, I want to talk about the tail cap switch a little more. You can access strobe from the tail cap switch in two different methods. You can do it in a momentary strobe or you can do it in a constant on strobe. So two half momentary presses, again strobe warning, one, two, and then when I let up off of the button with my thumb, the strobe turns off. If I want to keep that strobe, I will push and lock it in from the momentary, just like that. And now the strobe is on constantly. And again, let's not forget that low, medium, high, or turbo are the only modes that it rem will remember. So it defaults back to what we were on, which was low. Watch what happens in the center of this switch when I turn the light on. See that green power level indicator? I think that's really cool because when you, for the first few seconds, when you first turn the light on, you'll see that illuminate a color. Green means that our battery is 70% or higher. If that indicator turns orange, we're between 30 and 70% of the capacity of our battery. If it turns red, we're between 10 and 30% and if it flashes red, our battery level is below 10%. So in our case right here, we have a green battery level indicator, which is telling us that the light is good to go, that our battery is good to go. And you see that green indicator there? The light is off. That is a low light level indicator. So when you turn the light off and you wait about 10 seconds, this will illuminate very mildly, very weak illumination. Again, that's so you can find the light in the dark. You can turn this function off if you want to um, by turning the light on. Doesn't matter what mode you're on. Now if you watch the beam of the light as you hold the side switch down for 10 seconds, you'll notice a flicker in the beam. Now let's wait. Let's wait. Let, there's the flicker. Now, if we turn the light off and we wait 10 seconds, that indicator is now turned off where that green light won't come on anymore. So if you're really conservative on your battery life or something like that, and you don't want that green indicator thing to be coming on after 10 seconds, that's how you turn it off. 
Turning it on is the same exact way. You turn the light on, push and hold the button down until you see that flicker. Let's wait. There's the flicker. Now when I turn the light off, we start our countdown here for about 10 seconds and then we'll see that very weak green indicator. The light is off. So it's a very, very cool flashlight full of functionality. I think this is going to be a very cool light. I like how simple it is. I like the ability to take this ring on or off. I like the fact that you can hold it in a tactical way. I love the color. I love the magnetic charging. This is just a fabulous flashlight. There's no no other way to say it. It's an awesome light. All right, let's go ahead and take a look and see how it does underwater. Can we change modes underwater? Low, medium, high, turbo. Let's double press for strobe. Ooh, that's very disorienting. Double press again for SOS. I like that that strobe is a full 1600 lumens too. That's pretty cool. Turn the light off. Turn it back on. Let's try the tail cap options here. So let's uh, try to see what the double click for strobe here. One, whoops, one, two, there it is. Click that in. Turn it off, turn it on. Yep. So this light definitely passes the IPX8 waterproof standard. No problems. Okay, right now you can see a green light that's moving around in the center of your screen. That is the darkness light that makes this light easy to find. Now don't worry about that flashing light that you see. Just worry about the one that's moving around. Okay, that is the little green indicator that, again, makes it easy to find this light. Let's go ahead and turn the light on. We're going to go to low. This is the first setting. This is 10 lumens, and that's a pretty good setting. 10 lumens for 98 hours of run time. 98 hours, that's a long time. If you want to put that into hours, or excuse me, if you want to... If you want to convert that into days, that's 4.08 days. That's a long time for 10 lumens. Now we're looking at medium. 60 lumens for 60 hours. If you want to convert those hours into days, that's two and a half days. I notice that this light is very floody. It does have a mild hot spot, but it's more flood, and I like that. This is a really cool pattern that this light has. Let's go take a look at high. High is 360 lumens. This is a beautiful setting. That's a lot of light. This will last for three and a half hours. And then again, let's go up to turbo. 1,600 lumens for one minute. Then it'll drop down to prevent overheating for an additional 1.8 hours. That's a significant amount of light. Now strobe warning. 1600 lumen strobe. It goes from a fast sequence to a slow one and back to fast. I think this is a very effective strobe. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the SOS. Double click it again. SOS is going to operate at 60 lumens which would be the equivalent to medium and on the strobe and the SOS the manual does not specify how long they last on those modes now if I press the tail cap switch and press it again the light will come on to the previously used mode prior to SOS and strobe which is what I think is turbo there there's medium high and turbo so this is a really cool light, good pattern. It's a very nice light. Now on turbo, let's not forget that this light has 245 meters of throw. 
It also has a candela rating of 15,200 candela. It's IPX8 waterproof and impact resistant down to one meter. And without the battery, this light weighs 3.8 ounces. Very cool light. I'm pointing straight up the, at, the, at the roof. Going to the left here, up, going to the right, down, and forward. So that's a really cool light. Well, folks, I want to say thank you today for stopping by and watching this video on the Brynight PT28 Oath Keeper. This is a fabulous light. It's very, very, very easy to use. You just turn it on and go through the modes. Very simple. Double press to strobe, double press again to SOS, turn it off, turn it on. It has a memory. It's got a battery level indicator. When the light's turned off and you wait that 10 seconds, it's got that low light indicator, so it's easy to find that flashlight. It runs on a standard 18650 battery. I mean, you can't really ask for much more in a light. And they're cranking 1600 lumens out of a single 18650. This is a fabulous flashlight. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure to check the description box down below. I will put links down there to Brynight where you can find this model PT28. And also, if you haven't seen my video on the PT18, I'll put a link down to that video as well. They're both excellent, excellent flashlights without a doubt. So with all that being said, folks, again, thank you for stopping by. Hope you have a beautiful day. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.